On this question, we need to find a unit vector that is orthogonal to two other vectors, u and v. The way we find an orthogonal vector to u and v, well, the first thing you have to make sure is u and v are not parallel or anti-parallel, meaning they're not multiples of each other. So these two vectors are definitely not multiples of each other. You can check that just looking at the first coordinates. You'd have to multiply by negative 2 to go from the first vector's first coordinate to the second the first, second vector's x coordinate but that definitely does not work when you look at the y coordinates if you multiply by negative 2 8 times negative 2 is not negative 1 so they're definitely not multiples of each other which means we can take their cross product the cross product is always going to be orthogonal to the original vectors and then the last part we're going to do is make it a unit vector so let's go ahead and in this formula we need to decide which one is a1, b1, c1. So I'll just go with the first vector here. a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2. And now here we have u cross v. All right, let's write down all of these. So we're starting with b1 which is 8, times c2, which is negative 2, minus b2, so that's negative 1, times c1, which is negative 5. So that's just the x-coordinate. I'm going to need to write a little smaller. The y-coordinate is negative a1, that's negative 1. I know I'm writing way too close. Negative 1, C2. C2 is negative 2. Minus A2, which is positive 2. C1 is negative 5. So that's all the second or the y coordinate. Now for the z coordinate, a1 is negative 1. b2 is negative 1 also. Minus a2, which is 2. b1, which is 8. All right, we just need to multiply these numbers. 8 times negative 2 is negative 16. Now we have three negatives, so 1 times 5 is 5, but there's three negatives, so that product stays negative. We have 1, 2, 3 negatives right there. Next up is the y coordinate. Negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. So we have 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, but we're subtracting that negative 10, so it's plus 10. The last coordinate, negative 1, negative 1, is positive 1, minus 2 times 8 is 16. All right, just perform these operations. That is negative 16 minus 5 is negative 21, negative 12, negative 15. All right, so this should be perpendicular to u and v. The last part we need to do is scale this to a unit vector. So it's way longer than a unit vector. So we're going to divide by its magnitude. So let's go ahead and compute the magnitude now. negative 21, negative 12, negative 15. So we're just going to take a big square root of squaring all of these and adding them together. Now the reason I did not write the negative sign on any of these because when we square each one the negative is going to disappear. It's going to become positive. Ooh. I'm not sure what this 21 squared is. It's a lot. Do I still have my Desmos calculator? Oh, I put that away. Okay. Two, 
2 times 21, if I get that right, 21, yes, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4, 41, plus 12 squared is 144, 15 squared, not sure. So 5 times 5, 25, 5 times 1 plus 2 is 75, and then 1 times that, add it to 225. I think I knew that. All right, oh, still got to add all these together. Yikes. 441, 144, 225, 0, carry the 1. 8, 10, 11, carry the 1, 3, 4, 8, 10. Okay, uh, I don't think this has a nice square root, so we're going to just leave it like that. So our answer will be u cross v, negative 21, negative 12, negative 15, divided by square root 8, 10. And of course you can distribute, this is the same as 1, over square root 8, 10 times that vector. And here you can distribute this fraction to each term. And hopefully that's what we're going to see at the top. i cover that. Okay. So we see that square root 8, 10 distributed. And negative 21, negative 12, negative 15. And that's what we got. Now, this question did say find a unit vector. There's actually two unit vectors. And this says one possible answer is when you cross two vectors and you take their cross product, you get a ve vector perpendicular to both vectors or orthogonal. If you cross product in the other order, so this would be u cross v, if you cross product in the other order, let me do this in green, this is v cross u, which is negative u cross v. So you can use either u cross v or v cross u. If you use the other answer, you would get positive all those terms would change sign from negative to positive. So that would be the other correct answer, is the negative of the one we computed.